what's up DF Nation welcome back to my channel okay hold on let's get this right if you are new to my channel thank you for joining please subscribe how's everybody doing I'm doing pretty well I am sitting waiting for them to send me a load well I'll probably not get one tonight but what's up El Ray what a black knight that master chef I don't know how to say that so let's see AB I'm gonna call you AB Tremaine what up I am in Mississippi waiting. What up, Raj? What up, Sherman? So, what up, Frankie? What up, Trucker JBH3? The blah. What up, Leandria? Well, tonight's topic. I want y'all to weigh in on it is how do you make money as a company driver like what are y'all tips and tricks on how to make money as a company driver I'll give you some of my tips and tricks that's what's up master chef what up Charles what up King I'll give you some of my tips and tricks but I want to know some of yours too it is too high this bed my head is like, I gotta like lean down like this. I can't sit up straight like I want to. You can't do nothing but run to, you can't no more. What up, Navin? So, the reason why I chose this title for this video is because I get a lot, of, I get that question asked a lot. As if I know how to make hella money with driving trucks. You just gotta find what works for you. But I guess, what up, Gerald? But I guess there are certain things you can and can't do. Like what you can do that help you make more money and better money. So I want to touch on that. What up, Jordan? Take a week off. You want too much stronger, take a week off. What's up, Marcus? Drop early, run more than half the miles. So let me tell y'all what I do, what my little strategy is. What up, Tony? What I do to make money driving as a company driver, the first thing I do, I can't name it by first or second, but I can say one of the things that I do is I don't take a 34 hour reset unless I absolutely have to. And normally by the time I take a 34 hour reset, I am going home, on home time. But I'll give you guys examples of, whoa, I got a whole nap in my head. I feel like it's better to be paid by the hour for starters. That way you get paid for all your time and not just by the mouth. That's one way to make money. Get dedicated run. Yeah, but this is for this is for like rookies that just got their that just got their CDL and they want to make the best of their of their time, right? So I would say don't run on I mean don't take a 34 hour reset. So I use my example here at this company. I am hired on to go home weekly. So every now and then I'll go home every weekend. And then every now and then I'll work two or three weeks straight. And if I go home every weekend, then I'll take my 34 hour reset. But that leads me to my next point, which is run as many miles as you possibly can. If you know you're gonna take a 34 hour reset, if you're supposed to go home every week, and you know you're gonna take a 34 hour reset. What's up, Trucker Felicia? Run your ass off. Drive. Because I learned that you can actually, I thought this was wrong. Well, I found out through DOT that you can run your clock out and when you run out of time, like say for example, you're trying to go to a truck stop and you're running out of time, you get to that truck stop. And then um, once you get there, there's no parking, you don't have no more time. You can PC to another truck stop. So with that knowledge, I use that to my the best of my ability, right? 
I will drive my whole clock out. Not whole clock, but I'll probably have like 30 minutes left. Depending on the day that I had. If I had to use any, any of my 14 hour clock, then I'll run my whole clock, probably have 30 minutes left, and then I'll go look for parking. Usually, as opposed to what I used to do, I used to shut down around six or seven because I knew that I would find parking around that time. Now, I just run as far, as long as I possibly can. See, that's crazy. What's up, Benson? So, and that brings me to my next question. I mean, my next um, comment. If you're running your clock out, you're not taking 34 hour resets, you wanna try to get that load delivered the same day you picked it up. Um, I don't always leave myself an hour king because I'm trying to get as far as I possibly can, as close as I possibly can to my delivery so I can deliver with a fresh clock or very soon after. So luckily with this company, the way, the way the miles are running, I'm getting between 600 and 1500 miles per load. If you get 500 miles per load, that's 3,500 miles a week. If I can deliver each load, because you can run, I, I have a 70 mile per hour truck, so I can run a little bit over 600 miles a day, right? I get a 500 mile load, I'm delivering that load the same day. Picking up the next load the next morning and delivering that load the same day. Picking up the next load the next morning and delivering that load the same day. If you're a day early, I still try to deliver it. Like, I will still show up. Usually, well, it depends on your dispatch too. Like, your dispatch knows how you run and they know how fast you're gonna get the load there. They usually put me on loads that have already been dispatched. Like, um, they were supposed to have been picked up on the 10th and I got the load on the 12th. And I gotta have it delivered by the 13th. So originally that load had three days to deliver. I get one day to deliver because they know I'm gonna deliver that load the same exact day. So I would say like, try to run as many miles as you can and try to deliver the one load per day. And if it's a long load, you think about how many miles you have and how fast can you get that load there. What up Trucker Brett? Try to get that load as close as you can to delivery as possible and try to deliver as many loads as you can in a week, try to do one load per day. Now, you're gonna have problems like fueling and gas, I mean fueling and food and bathroom breaks and breaks, try to train your bladder. And try to make sure that, what up Frankie? Try to make sure that um, you're not taking too many breaks to stop and use the bathroom. Plan your route so that you're not hitting traffic. What they say? I caught one of your videos. Did you have a bad experience with Martin? If so, what happened? Thinking about going over there. What up, Jeremy? Martin is a good company. They're just really finicky. They are by the book. They are firm. And they fired me because some haters wanted to hate, basically. Well, Young Men Ohio, if if you have been following me, you would know why I'm still on the truck and why I'm not done just as yet. Um, I'll get to that in a second. But just try to not take it to the 34 hour reset. I mean, you can just go to Martin. You don't have to, um, you don't need a referral. I don't think they're gonna pay me a referral. I got fired. I don't even think they don't have anything to do with me. But yeah, so, don't stop and motivate you. Man, look, I'm trying to get in where I can fit in. Right now, I'm stuck on the truck. So as of right now, at least I won't be going anywhere. So, um, yeah, 
to make money to make money in as a company driver to make as much money as you possibly can you want to run as many miles as you can within that pay period you want to try to deliver as many loads as you can within that pay period you don't want to take a 34 hour reset you want to run off a recap if you don't know what that is you get a 70 hour clock after your 70 hour clock runs out that next week whatever so for example on day one I ran 500 miles. It took me 10 hours to run that. On day seven, and I do that every day for seven days. Day seven, I'm gonna run out of time. I'm not gonna have time left. I use my 70 hour clock. So day eight, I'll get back the time that I got on day one, which was 10 hours. And so then on day nine, you get back the time you got back on the second day on day 10 you get back the time you, you drove on the third day and you keep that's a recap so you get your time back the next week whatever you drove according to that day of the last week so you run off of recaps and that's why I say drive your hours drive your clock because you run off of recaps but if you drive 10 hours that day and then you recap 10 hours you're gonna recap 10 hours right but you still gotta take a 30 minute break so now you're recapping nine hours and 30 minutes. So then for that next week, you'll get nine hours and 30 minutes back, but you gotta take a break, so you'll recap nine hours. You'll recap your whole hours, but you gotta take into account your breaks. But you can run off a recap for four months, right? And then you can go home, right? Um, and take your 34 hour reset and get a fresh clock. So you could you can run off of recaps for three to four weeks and then go home and take a 34 hour reset if you do it right. Also, um, what was I gonna say? You have to do a recaps. Oh, if you do go home, think about your pay period. When does your pay period end, right? So, go home the day your pay period ends. Right? So, say for example, oh, what's up, Michelle? Mustafa, what up? So, say, so for here, our, our pay period ends on Saturday. So, I set my home time for Saturday. That means I ran all the miles that I needed to run for that week. They usually put me on the load to sit on while I'm on home time. So when I come home from home time, then I will have miles already. And I'll come home from home time on Monday. I mean, come off of home time on Monday. Only sometimes, because if you're off, you want the next check to come through. <laughs> Bitch, your mama whack body. <laughs> um, so it, I found it works for me if I take my home time on Saturday, when the pay period ends, I'll, I'll usually get home sat, Saturday night. The pay period ends at midnight. I'll get home around 9 p.m., 10 p.m. And then I ran all of my miles for that week. I, I'm sitting on the load already. So when I go back out on Monday, all I gotta do is complete the load and I already started. And then I'm coming out with home, I'm coming out with loads or miles versus coming off of home time with no load, no trailer. You gotta go pick the load up. You gotta get loaded, then you drive. You're, that's money that you're just missing out on. Like, that's time you're missing out on versus already having the load and just going straight to the highway right after home time. So, that's another way to make money. Um, that's why you run like a month or so. You don't have to worry about a check. Yeah, you could run a month or so, but I mean, I don't run a month. I stayed out for two weeks once here at this company and made $1,300 for two week two weeks so you don't have to stay out a month you can what's up Petty Voyager you don't have to stay out a month I mean it's good you could stay out a month but I would say at least stay out two weeks if you want to make money consistent money stay out for two weeks because then they can send you on longer runs but I figured if I go home every week or if I go home every two weeks they could send me on a couple of long runs and then mostly short runs as long as they're 500 miles or more 
and then I'll get a good, pretty good check. That's true, everyone don't pay the same. I get 40 cent per mile here, plus per diem. And that's another thing. Sign up for per diem, because per diem, you actually reduce your taxable income, which is good if you're, you have a family that, you, that depends on you and you have food stamps or whatever government assistance, it will help you with your government assistance. What up, Stefan? Because your taxable income is lowered, but you make more. I don't want to explain per diem if you want to learn about it. I'm sure there's some YouTube videos on there, but I suggest everybody who's a company driver sign up for per diem. You'll make more money with per diem than you would with regular check. The most money I made, period, driving was 13, over $1,300. And that's with this company. What's up, Rich? Well, you're making 45 cents per mile, I'm making, and they're making 30 cents cent per mile. That two weeks isn't gonna work. But if they're making 36 cents per mile, I'll say go to another company. Does every company offer PDM? Most of them do. What up, R? Do other do things other than van has always been my theory. Tanker, flatbed, especially the things that take a little effort people don't want to do, pays the most. Yeah, that it does too, but if you don't have any endorsements like me, what do you do, right? You, you have to get what you get. I got 1300 one week. Not a week. You only did that one time though, your whole trucking career. <laughs> I did that one time, my whole trucking career. I say this company, I've made more money at this company. Well, let's see, it's a tie between this company and Martin. What's up, Steve? Because with Martin, I was getting a guaranteed pay of $1,000 a week. So no matter what I did, I got $1,000 a week. So that worked out well for me when I was going on home time. I still made a thousand dollars a week. If I wanted to, I could go home every single week and still make a thousand dollars. That's not likely when you're working without a guaranteed pay. Good job, congrats, Stefan. Um, if I break down, if I'm sitting waiting for a load, if I'm on, if I'm laid over, if I have detention, no matter what happens, if I don't get all the miles that week, at least I get a thousand dollars a week. That's what was with Martin. Um, but I would say, you know, find a company that pays a decent amount. You can find good companies. I did try calling Knight, but I couldn't get in contact with him. Do you have your hazmat and tanker? Martin Transfixes. Nope, I don't have it. You know what the detention pay for a night? I don't remember. It's been a minute. I don't remember what the detention It wasn't a lot. Martin paid more detention pay than Mike did. I think it was like, I don't even want to, I don't even want to, I don't know. I don't remember. But like, find a company that's going to pay you good, preferably 40 cent per mile or more. Um, get on per diem run your clock so you can run on recap if you happen to be in a situation where you have to stop for the day and you only drove like five hours stay on duty for five hours if I've drive less than three hours that day I'm staying on duty for the majority of the day so I can get my recap the next week um, also like I said, run recap, and then run your time, get as many miles as you can, fucking try to deliver one load a day. I never thought about becoming an owner operator, nope. Nope, nope, nope. 
What other op what other um advice can y'all give somebody new? Do I have trucking anxiety? What is that? I don't think so. I don't know what trucking anxiety is, but I don't think I got it. <laughs> I don't know what it is though, so I can't say. But um, those are the things I would say that can help you make money. And document, like when you get to a shipper, document. If you're gonna be sitting, you know you're gonna be sitting, document it. Because you'll get paid attention. Be on the ass about it. <laughs> right, what the fuck is trucking anxiety? I'm sleepy, y'all. I waited extremely too late to do a video. I was contemplating on doing a video for like three or four hours. I was just Yep, keep the doors shut. Run like a mofo. Thank you, Stefan. Don't stop to look here and stop to look there. Make a point of it, make a point of it. Like, have weeks where you just running, running, running. And then have a week where you're going to just take it easy because you're going to have those times. You don't want to run ragged. You don't want to burn out. What up, OG Wade? Being a, yeah, being an owner-operator is different, but I don't know anything about being an owner-operator. I don't know how it works. I don't, don't do all of that. I'm pretty sure I would have hella views and hella subscribers if I was an owner-operator or a lease-operator, but... Oh, that's a good one, Stefan. That's a good account. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, so yeah. You stupid Leandri. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, stay, like have, plan out your weeks and your months. If you got bills, you got a large overhead, plan it out, run. I would say, after you paid your bills, so say for example everything's due on the first week of the month, that'll be the week of the month that you will take your break. You'll be able to sleep in a little bit. And oh, a big point, don't sleep in. Take your 10 hour break and go. Don't be in your sleeper berth and off duty more than 10 hours. You're definitely not gonna make no money that way. But, so say for example your bills are due the first week of the month, right? Then that'll be the week that you can probably sleep in one day, catch up on rest, go and sightsee a little bit when you shut down or you can stop and sit down and eat at a restaurant and actually sit down at the restaurant instead of eating in your truck while you're driving, which is not safe. But you can do things like that. You can take your time, right? You can stop and take bathroom breaks multiple times in, in your route because you already got paid that week because you ran last week hard and then the week that you're taking off or not taking off but you're taking it easy is the week that you got paid and paid your bills and stuff so that means that week between the first and the seventh is going to be your easy week because then the next check after that is going to be a little bit smaller if you're doing a lot of that yeah you can do your reset on the road hold on oh and rookies every week it's not going to be the same it's up to down the track. it is true and it's not going to be the same can you do your reset on the road yeah you can do your reset set in the road on the road i wouldn't say do it but um save money though save budget budget on how much money you want to spend per week on food or per day think about it some of these truck stops you spend like ten dollars for a meal right and if you do that three times a day that's like thirty dollars a day it's a lot of money per month I mean per week and per month so you want to budget on how much you spend think about like if there's days that you're gonna run really really hard get some cup of noodles or noodles or something in the microwave um, and eat drink a lot of water not too much where you're peeing all the time, though. 
Um, I wouldn't say Walmart is your best friend unless you're on home time. You go to Walmart, you stock up because you're supposed to be driving, not trying to figure out how to get into a Walmart, right? Um, 900 a month. What is that? Next 100 a week. If not something that's with me. Yeah, right? Well, I can't say that because I spent. Ten dollars a day is not gonna work for me. I can't do it. There's no way. How many times do OTR drivers back per week? How are you supposed to answer that? You should already have an inverter in your truck, probably. Depending on what company you with. How many times a driver backs per week? Let's think. You back at least seven times when you're back in, the, you're parking. If you're picking up a load, I'll say the very least. So you're picking up a load, say you're picking up a load every day. You're backing into it to pick up the load. So that's another seven. You're backing up to deliver the load. So that's another seven. That's in one day. Um, that's 21 times. So at least 21 times a day. You're backing up. I mean, a week. <laughs> and as far as food, yes, two hundred dollars a day a week. I would say yes, because if it's if it's twenty dollars a day, well, one forty. You could spend about two hundred a week. I could see that as being a budget. One meal a day and be done. I try to do one meal a day. It's hard. It's, it's so hard. It's so hard because I crave stuff, and I, if I don't get what I crave, I'm not going to stop until I get it. I'm going to be hungry until I get what I've been craving. So, for example, for example, um, see you later, Frankie. I wanted one of those waffle sandwiches from Love's this morning, and they didn't have any. I woke up too late and I wanted one really bad so I had to settle for McDonald's I did not want McDonald's so I ate it because I needed to put something on my stomach and not get a headache from being hungry and when I got to Love's I asked the lady I was like can you make me a, a, a waffle sandwich please and she made me two of them and I ate that so I ate twice today which I usually try to eat once per day but the waffle sandwiches was like three dollars each but i would say if you're gonna eat on the truck like okay at the truck stops if you're fueling at my, my, uh, i was reading the comment manuel's magic if you are fueling at loves or pilot you'll get points right you can use those points to buy food so the days that you fuel the days you could buy food. Yeah, that's good too. White castle sliders. We're not even going to talk about... Let me show you how well I have. I can't show y'all, but... We're not even going to talk about... Um, refrigerator stuff. Because I don't even use my refrigerator anymore. It's just up there at this point. I don't even open it. But... You can buy stuff that is ready to go already to where you don't have to put it in the refrigerator. Like I have some jasmine rice that my thing is sitting on and you can just put it in the microwave. It's already cooked and it's packaged and it's non-perishable. You can just put it in the microwave. You can get tuna that's non-perishable. You can get macaroni and cheese. I make tuna melts. Um, 
that's all in the microwave. Of course, noodles. I have vegetables that are in a little plastic container packages. You can put it in the microwave. Um, you can get chicken in a can and you can make chicken salad with it. <laughs> and you can make tuna salad. So you buy little tuna packets. They're like a dollar at Walmart. And then you go into the truck stop, you get some um, mayonnaise, mustard, salt and pepper, whatever seasoning you like, some relish out the truck stop. You mix it in with the tuna, you made a tuna salad. You don't gotta buy mayonnaise and all that stuff. And yet, yeah, boiled eggs in the truck stop. You put eggs in your, in your tuna salad. They have a lot of, like, there's a lot of ways that you can make money, make, eat food without having to spend a lot of money at the truck stop. But now, think about this though. If you're running, 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 right? You want to eat breakfast. That'll hold you over until you take your break. When you take your 30-minute break, eat a snack. Like, I love macaroni and cheese. I have my little box up here, and I have my little macaroni and cheese cups. I'll pop that in the microwave and eat that on my 30-minute break. That'll hold me over until I shut down. I'll shut down, and I'll probably go to sleep because I'm tired probably won't even eat anything if I do decide to eat it depends on what I ate for breakfast because I'm watching my weight but it'll be something quick yeah you should have to be spending money on on coffee because you get free drinks at Love's if you feel there. So that's a good way to, if you think about how much money you get paid, you get a check for $800. You spend 200 of that on food, that's $600. Stuck the fridge for at least a week and snack. True. Let me show y'all what I got. I think I showed y'all before. But I'll show y'all again. So at least I got this right now. That's Uncle Ben's. That's what I was putting my phone on. But that's already made. I could just warm it up in the microwave. Then I have this stuff. Let's see what we got up here. What's up, Sparkle? You know, Walmart at the truck stop. I gotta go back here so I won't fall. Ooh. Don't judge me on up here on the bunk because it's messy as fuck. <laughs> it's my storage unit but I bought these from little juice boxes I bought those from Sam's Club but you know how at Walmart their oatmeal is like two or three dollars well I got my own oatmeal <laughs> thank you gosh I got my ju I got my fruit. I got my noodles, noodles, macaroni and cheese, bread, which I gotta throw away because it's like old. This is good if you go to Walmart. This is not too much stuff. So you can get this right and make some pasta, spaghetti, whatever. I got another one. Elbow. What else? I bought my own gravy so I can make biscuits and gravy. So you can go to McDonald's or something and you can ask for two biscuits, which is probably going to be like a dollar or something. And you put your own gravy on it. What else? Uh, I'm trying not to fall. I'm leaning on something. A little bit of snacks. I got my juices. Cereal. I found these. These are pretty cool. Nachos on the go. What else? I found these too for my sweet tooth sometimes. Chips Ahoy mug cake type stuff. I don't know really what this is. I haven't ate, eaten it yet because 
Originally, I bought it so I could have it with milk, but I can't eat milk anymore. I drink milk. Graham crackers, I forgot I had these. <laughs> Graham crackers. Some more soup. But you can see all this stuff you can put in a microwave. And you can see all this stuff is not expensive to buy. It's cheap. These are like 10 cents or something. These are like a dollar. These are like a dollar if you go to the dollar store. So you can buy pretty cheap stuff and have food to eat. And you can save money on the truck. Now the reason why this is so full is because I don't live by that all the time. I run too much. I don't want to shut down and put anything in the microwave. I want to just go use the bathroom, pick up something to eat, eat it on the way to the truck and go to sleep as soon as I get in the truck. And this is not too much stuff up here. For your FYI, what are y'all talking about? I have to pee again. Why? I'm going to do that. Team driving, what y'all think about team? I, if it's not in your own household, I don't think it's a good idea. I think $12 detention is they pay. Yeah, I think that's what they paid the night too. Lightweight, how do you use, mark? how do you set up your microwave and fridge? This is how. Oh, wait a minute. It's a microwave. I mean, my fridge. It's on top of my top bunk, so I just put this mattress up put my bunk up there, I mean my refrigerator up there and I plug it in right there and then I have my microwave right there. I have that filled up. It's junky, I know. Let me see. I might as well clean it. I have some more stuff, some more food up here. Because originally I put my canned foods up here. But since I cleaned out my refrigerator, these are all my canned foods because canned foods are not going to fit goober it has seasoning on it the seasoning came out of my old bay it came out of here and it fell everywhere and it got on this but this is good to have too it got all shaken up but it's still good and my hot plate my cans my vegetables but I don't cook no more because I don't have nothing in my truck I don't have nothing in my refrigerator and I don't have this put up because I don't feel like putting it up. But I don't want to put my cans inside the um inside this bin because this is just a snack bin. Now in my other truck, we had cabinets up here and up there. This is an older model truck, so they don't have the cabinets. So the things how I used to have it set up in my other truck, I don't have it set up here. I can't set it up the same way. That's a good way to save money. And up here, I don't know what's up here. What hard hat. Biscuits and gravy. Hi, how are you doing? I'm new to your channel. I really enjoy watching. Thank you, Ontario. Has a team split 50 cent per mile versus 46 per mile. So I'll try. Anybody got any notes for a new CDL drivers? I've got two weeks left of school. What kind of notes do you need? Give me an idea. Sometimes you don't know what to get for the road until you're hungry. That's true. What's my budget per month on food? $800? You got a lightweight. How do you set for you? Okay, cabinets for you split. So I got, got that up there. Got one up here. Here's a safety net for your top one. I have a safety net, but I don't need it. What up, Jay? So I was scared to get extra five cents per mile because of space and being able to get family on board. That's a 24 person, that's not good. <laughs> I know starting out, a lot of people say every company is not good though. What up, Mark, Mike? But yeah, this top bunk doubles as my storage. I put my shower bed bag up here. I put my dirty clothes up here. My purse is up here. My juice box is up here. And that's it. Some cleaning supplies. And yeah, my snacks. But that's a good way. What's up, Jermaine? 
That's a good way to save money. That's a good way to make money. Well, save money is for the make. But the job is what you make, you really don't fan. If you're a worker, you get paid. That's true. Like I said, just stay in the truck, roll. Pee when you first wake up. Don't drink a lot while you're driving. Drive as many hours as you possibly can. Try to deliver the load the same day. Shut down. Or take your 30 minute break. Take a um, snack and use the bathroom on your 30 minute break. What up, Jonathan? Shut down. Eat. Take your 10 hour break. Do it all over again until you have got gotten through your 70 hour clock. Then drive on recaps and do it all over again. Keep that left door closed. And that's how you will make money. You want to get at least 2,500 miles per week. So you got to start thinking about the type of loads that you're getting. If you got a load that's 300 miles or 350 miles, you need to be done with that load immediately and on to the next load and drive some more of that load, some more from the next load. Don't just shut down after you, sh after you pick the load up, after you deliver the load and picked up the next load. Don't shut down. Keep driving. Because you want to think in your head, I want to make 2,500 miles per week. So you see how much money, how many miles that load is. You calculate how long it's going to take you to get there, how much time you're going to have on your clock, how much time you're going to drive, how much time you have on your 70. You got to know how to calculate everything and, and plan out. So you can also work with your DM. Hey, so this load was 300 miles. You're going to have another load set up on me so I can give me another 300 lo uh, mile load so then I can be at least close to the delivery when I shut down tonight then you deliver two loads basically in the same day it's not the same day but it kind of is because you could deliver that second load early the next morning and you know work with them what do you mean how does the DM stuff work the DM is basically your driver manager your manager they they're the person who you call for whatever you need help for with they're the ones that's going to send you the loads. They're the ones that's going to send you money if you need it. Um, they're the ones that are going to pitch you out when you're not doing good. But they're your best friend. And you got to have a good rapport with them in order to, in order to um, have a happy, successful trucking thing. No, Trinity has to spell her her. her uh, you didn't spell it right. No, she has to start her channel. What's up, Lady O? Plus, it's better a week. It's out. Is what you really want. You do want three thousand a week, yes. What did you ask, Stefan? I'm sorry. Three thousand a week is good. That's a good paycheck if you can get three thousand a week. If you know that, like, if the load is gonna be. If you're going to be early and you can't deliver early, ask your DM if you can relay the load and have somebody else take it and put you on another load. It's all at 90s. That 90s pick was epic. Can someone go back in time just to see that wild side of you? <laughs> if y'all haven't caught it on yet, I posted a picture in the community section of me back in the day. The DM is a, it's your driver manager. Thank you, Leandria. I'm trying to get back to that though. I need to have throwbacks of this this t day and era. So like two or three years from now, I have post throwbacks that I can post now, like then. Sixty-five dollars. Oh God! Don't take out advances. That's another way to make money, unless you absolutely need it. What's up, Daquan? Do not take advances out because that comes out of your check. Do you want to make money dr trucking? How much salt is in what food? And like I said, the driver manager, the DM is a driver manager. That's who, that's your go-to for everything that you need. <laughs> stupid. Leandra is stupid. Thank you, Mrs. Amir. So let's recap. I am a company driver. 
How do you make money as a company driver? Drive all the miles that you can in one day. Use your clock all the way out. Thank you, Prescott. Keep the left door closed. That means don't keep taking breaks and stuff. Take a 30 minute break and eat. Like do multiple things during your 30 minute break so you don't have to stop a lot. Drive after your 10 hour clock is up. Don't stay long in, in, a, um, in a sleeper. Um, learn how to work your recaps. Uh, yeah. Don't take a 35 hour reset on the road. Cook on your truck. Weather conditions. Oh yeah, winter's coming up. It already is winter in Colorado and Wyoming right now. Try to do 600 miles a day, yes. And if you absolutely are tired, try to take it on your 30 minute break. Take a nap. Set an alarm for 30 minutes. Take a 30 minute break. Recaps are the time you, <laughs> recaps are the time that you get back after your 70 hour clock is up on your eighth day on I don't man look at Martin I'm sorry about all the smoke but at Martin your um your advance and don't take out advances at Martin your advance was based on how many miles you drove here it's a hundred dollars a week. At night, like she said, it was sixty-five dollars a week. And the reason why you don't want to take a thirty-five hour reset on the road is because in thirty-five hours you can drive over twelve hundred miles. So that's miles that you're missing out on by just sitting there waiting for your clock to get reset. So you don't want to take a thirty-five hour reset unless you're at home. You can make three thousand miles as a company. I do not have an assigned route, no. Save as much as possible on food. Stack cabin and cool on board, true. And use your points. I do drive at night when I have to. Use your points, like if you're fueling all the time, I have $22 in points right now. What up, Sheree? I have $22 in points right now. I can literally go and buy food with that, but I choose to save it. I save my points just in case of an emergency if I really don't have no money, period, point blank, none, and I'm hungry, I got points to use. What's up, Henny, Henry? Drop a hooking and knowing your trip planning. That's one. If you trip plan and know in the city you want to be, like in Cali or Vegas or Atlanta. That's true, you could take a, I'm saying you could take a 34 hour reset on the road but if you want to make money, you want to stay rolling. What they say, if the wheels ain't turning, you ain't earning. That's true. Like, I used to always, when I first started, I used to always call road service for every fucking little thing. And I used to not trip when I had to sit. I used to just wait for DMs, my DM to contact me and let me know what's going to happen. I don't do that shit no more. I'm on top of it. If I'm sitting longer than 10 minutes, if I'm taking a 30 minute break and it's been past 30 minutes or first it's 10 minutes and I look out okay I'll give them 30 minutes if it's past 30 minutes I'm on the phone let's go what are we doing like what am I what's what's going on I can't sit no more we need to get get rolling what's going on send me somewhere what's what are we doing sometimes you take matters into your own hands if you're waiting for them to send you where empty is you think about all the places that you delivered to in that area and you go find your empty yourself because you're not paying for fuel, they are. But your time is clicking, ticking. Right, you trip planning and running the clock are two different things. Like, you say you could trip plan until you're blue in the face, but as long as you know how to run your clock, you'll be fine. You can do short loads. I like the short loads. 
I like short loads because if you're getting paid on a sliding scale, you get more money based on how low, short the load is. And if you run your clock right, you can get two loads off in one day or close to it. Um, and if you're, so oh, somebody asked how many loads I do per week. How many loads do I do per week? I don't know. Between four and seven loads a week. Um, he said, because some areas you can't trip plan because your clock might not allow you to make it. Right? You might have to stop a little bit early. I had a situation like that the other day. I had to stop early. My cousin coming to Pam. He's been driving two zero. Yeah, that's good. Man, I had my two for seven months. Can't work out, and they say there is a shortage. Really? Damn. I was about to say something. I'm glad I didn't say it. I know somebody that hire you. You can email me if you want. I'll tell you. That is true. Ran a dedicated route with Swift just up and down California. I hate that route. Mm -mm. but yeah so I had a situation like that last week where I was stupid I made mistakes because I had to pick up the load I had all I had until I had all day to pick the load up the load wasn't due for two days later I forgot how to explain it but basically I slept in because I had the time I could sleep in and that was my rest time and I slept in I picked the load up and then I had enough time to deliver the load but I found myself in a predicament. If I keep driving, I'm gonna run out of time at least by five minutes. I had five minutes less on my drive clock than I had on my arrival time. So I either had to shut down early and then get my 10 hours so I could drive, but then I still would have been late and I had to be on time. I could have shut down as soon as I got there. I could have got there on time that night the appointment wasn't due until midnight, I would have got there at 9 p.m. And I would have been out of hours by the time I got there. So my choices were to run and get there at 9 p.m. and risk them turning me around. The nearest truck stop is an hour away. I only get 46 miles in personal conveyance. So I can't do that just in case they turn me away. I don't have nowhere to shut down at. And I was in... Kansas or I could shut down early and then try to make it but if I shut down any any time during that day that I shut down my 10 hour clock would have made me late so I had to do an 8 and 2 split which ultimately fucked me up because I did the 8 part and I got there on time and I delivered my load on time but the 2 part messed me up so you got to really know if I would have woke up earlier I would have left earlier. I would have had to shut down to deliver the load the next day. I wouldn't have been able to deliver it that same day even though I had enough time. Okay, let's see. Fishman West, when you and me going to Utah. Start your day so that you end your when your DM clocks out. Don't deal with night dispatch. They say in Pam it's the only a company that like that if they if I don't got my hats back. Don't forget about the time change. You have to know how to run when time is going to change on you. Night night at shipper or consignee. Is that a question or a statement? They snatch your PC. Why? Call Eric Gardner at the Las Vegas terminal. He's a safety for Las Vegas. He's the shit. I try to get my experience. That's all. A two split doesn't exist anymore. At the end of the month now, it's seven three. Yeah, I gotta do the. I have to do the. Um, I gotta do the safety video on that. I haven't done it yet. We'll probably talk about it. I'll probably do a video about it.
but that's how you make money OTR I mean as a company driver like it's not hard basically the most that you want to do is just keep running don't stop like Reefer is probably better. Dry van is okay if you know how to work it. Reefer has a lot of sitting, so you'll get detention pay. I like Reefer. But I'm, I am I really, dry van, it, dep like, it depends. Because, for example, I like Reefer because it's just, the trailer's always got to be up to par because it's Reefer, right? And you're not gonna worry about a fucked up trailer. With dry van, you're probably gonna get a fucked up trailer every now and then. And that sucks. And a lot of night driving. But then dry van, it's a lot of dropping hooks. So you're not doing a lot of live load. So it just depends on what you like. That time change thing usually happens when you're in the mountains. It's her Amazon gift benefits and pay time off too. Glad I caught you live. You make the world think and see what you want and it will unfold before you drive for Snyder. Before you. You drive for Snyder, I feel you. I understand. I don't drive for Snyder. Team Rest River solves the empty hunting problem. That's true too. They always got a reefer somewhere. I like reefer. I like dry van. With this company, I like dry van. I don't have a problem with it. No, not really. Nobody told me it was 25 miles on, on PC. I think I drove like 30 or a few times, but it's cool. No worries. Wow. I love sleeping by the reefer trucks. That shit puts me to sleep. Is it just me or do you guys fall asleep when you're getting loaded? Like when the truck is rocking, does it make you sleepy? I love it. I love when they're loading me. I can just be just like that like it puts me to sleep I wish somebody could just sit and rock my trailer so I could go to sleep because that be feeling so good I love it but yeah uh, <laughs> what was I saying oh yeah the sound I like the sound of it I am a big baby my big old rocking chair truck <laughs> definitely you want to know how to make money as a company driver? Haul car carrier. I heard they make good money too. They make good money too. Man, I just ate and I'm hungry again. I've been making some noodles. Rock your trailer, girl. I'll rock your trailer. Ah, okay, Leandria. Come on in. What up, Emmett? I am not about to eat. I can't do that. But yeah, that's how you make money as a company driver. And I say that because when I was working at night and when I was when I was working at night, I wasn't driving like I drive now. And when I was working at Martin, he taught me how to run my clock cuz I would have like 3 hours left. And I'd be like, I'm about to shut down. He was like, no, you still got time to go pick this load up and drive on it a little bit. I'm like, but I want to go somewhere where I can find parking. And he was like, you still got time. And it was forced to dispatch. So I had to pick that load up. And I picked it up and I ran and I was making money. Because they don't want to guarantee you $1,000. They want you to make the money. They want you to work for it. Thank you, Mr. Sherrod. So... With Martin, I learned how to run, run, run like I've been running now. And now I just, like I delivered a load today, picked up another. Well, I was supposed to pick up another. That didn't even happen. It's a whole another story about that. Just, I'm sitting, basically. They're doing good, I mean. But, um, you just run. That's all I can say. Run as much as you possibly can. Do not stop for nothing. You better figure out a podcast to listen to, something to listen to on radio that's going to keep your attention to just drive in. And you'll forget, you'll forget, like, I listen to episodes of stuff. 
and it has to be like an hour long and it has to be something very interesting and then time will go by I'm like shoot I only got like the time goes slow when it gets to like two hours and I'll, I'll drive and be listening to something and I got two hours left and I'm like oh my goodness my day is gone you look at the clock and you're like god I got like nine hours to go I drove from Laredo to Mississippi yesterday I would have had I would have drove the whole thing and got there and delivered but I decided to stop and get something to eat and then that's what fucked me up but I just drove 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 you can drive you can get I don't know I think that was 700 miles but no it wasn't how many miles was that how many miles is Laredo to Mississippi Laredo to uh, Hazelhurst Mississippi it's running low from Louisiana New Jersey wow that's good my truck goes 70 miles per hour on cruise control and 68 on the pedal. Just know I used to work it. Oh, wow. How's it out there with the blitz? I don't know if there's a blitz going on. Can somebody pull out the calculator? I mean, Google Maps and map out Laredo, Texas to Hazelhurst. Mississippi that's about nine and a half hours so if you run in you take a 30 minute break you can deliver a load 600 miles or less in, in one day and be set up to take your next load it's a blitz going on what is it what is it I'm focusing on I didn't even know that. Only do your 34 hour during home time and take your home time at least every two weeks. Don't go home every week unless you got it like that. The bliss is for the next three weeks? Level one, hmm. That's why I've been seeing so many highway patrols. 722 miles, really? It was nine hours for me, though. Oh, because I picked up in San Antonio. I went from Laredo to San Antonio. I picked up in San Antonio. Well, I went from Laredo to San Antonio. I shut down in San Antonio because the load wasn't ready. And then I picked up from San Antonio and went to... Huh, okay. I'm parked on the side of the exit to avoid other semi trucks. That's not smart to park on the side of the exit. And whoever said they like my shirt, thank you. I remember that comment. My, Knight has a, a policy, don't park on the side of the exits and stuff. Some states won't allow you to do that either. They will ticket you. But it's like being a sitting duck. September 9-11 is what I was told for DLT Blitz. Dang, they gotta do a blitz on 9-11? Boy, you was lying. They didn't do no 7 hours in 11 hours. You can't, that was supposed to be my load, King. Listen, if I take this the training now, I'm not getting forward to it. That's what's up, Isaac. It was, it was a, a load from Laredo to Hazelhurst, Mississippi. But the way they plan our loads here, they plan the load from your pickup, I mean, from your delivery. So you have, you know how you have your pickup and your delivery? Well, you have your delivery of your previous load, then your pickup, and then your delivery. So, I delivered in Laredo. I had to pick up in San Antonio and take it to Mississippi. I forgot that I shut down in San Antonio before I came to Mississippi. A casino. Nice hip. That's what fire you park on it. Off ramp. Yeah, I wouldn't want to. I don't want to park. I'm not parking parking nowhere that does not have a bathroom or a bathroom that I feel safe going to. Period. Unless I absolutely have to. Like if I can go, if I'm running my whole clock out and I gotta go to the shipper 
and I'm been out of time at the shipper and there's no truck stops in the area, usually those shippers allow you to park there or there's somewhere in that immediate area where you can park. So I'll park at the shipper if I have to. Um, but mm -mm. it has to have a bathroom and I'm not parking on the side of no ramp. And you know, another good place to park is at the industrial buildings. Like for example, in Dallas off of I-35 West, I think, or East, I don't remember, but there's a whole bunch of industrial buildings and I parked back there. There's no truck stops in Dallas, really. I parked back there and I was like, okay, now I, everywhere I go, I try to find an industrial park to park at where I know that I'll be out of there or not in nobody's way when they open up. I've been driving for two years and I, yeah, it's worth it. If you get with a good company and learn, it takes about two years to learn. I didn't understand that when they first told me that, but it does. It takes about two years to learn how to really do this thing called trucking. Oh, so I think I was in, I don't remember which one I was in, Dallas or Fort Worth, I don't remember. But I made sure I went to a truck stop. I peed first, got some food, and then I went to the industrial area and parked there, and that's my go-to. Owning your own company is where it's really at. It's like working for the man. Yeah, I agree, and I beg to differ at the same time. I never buy my own truck. I learned from Ghost, who has um, who has a uh, he had still hogging TV, still hogging truckers. I mean, still hogging trucking. And from his experience, what he was going through, he had his own authority and he had drivers. Mm -mm. I don't want no parts of none of that. Ever, ever. I mean, Y'all can have to handle that. I don't want none of it. I don't. Re I don't pay for reserve parking. And that's another way to, to uh. That's another way to save money. Don't pay for parking. All the ladies out there, don't park on the back forty if you can help it. Park in well lit areas. I try to park in the front because. I'll use the bathroom and then I'll drink a lot of drink before I go to sleep because I don't drink a lot during the day and then I wake up having to pee super super bad and I do not want to walk all across the whole entire parking lot to get to the bathroom. So I try to park in the front if I can and I park in the front anyway because yeah I want to park in the well lit area. Yeah if you have a solid team you're good but I mean building that solid team you're going to have to go through some hiccups and hurdles. I just. I don't want the headache. I don't. I don't want the headache. I don't want to get a truck that's gonna break down and I gotta pay for repairs and stuff. I don't want to go through that. I'm good. You can use points to park your pilot. The race coming out of California right now. Three, five, nine. Hold on, that's fine. Your teammates, you won't have to worry about parking. I know that's right. The company should reimburse. I remember when I first started at night, I asked them if they reimbursed for um, reserve parking. And they said, yeah, but when I paid for reserve parking, he didn't reimburse me for it. I was like, y'all lied to me. Y'all lied to me. So yeah, I've been on here an hour. I'm about to go to sleep. Um... I made headway today. Somebody really important to me helped me in a big way today. They helped me get my record sealed. So I've started the process on sealing my record. Yay! Yes! It's gonna take a minute. They said in Vegas it's taking six to nine months to get um, to get the process started and finished and then another 
three to six months to you like this shirt this is not my shirt but I guess I should make one huh I'll make one another three to six months to have it finalized so it was a thousand dollars basically I am 36 it was like yeah so the process is started I have to order my arrest record and I have to order another record so I gotta do that when I get to Houston I gotta get fingerprinted I gotta pay for that and I gotta send the fingerprints to the lawyer and I gotta order another record or whatever and I gotta pay for that and send that to the lawyer and when he has those two documents he could file the paperwork send it to the judge the DA has to review it and the judge has to wait on the answer so basically the judge is going to be like I mean the DA is going to say do they want to let the charges get sealed or not it's a it's a misdemeanor so I don't I don't think there's any issue with that and I only have two things on my record that are that's actually allowed to be seen um, everything else is past the statute of limitations so I'm good it's not a lot it's only like four five things total and they're all misdemeanors so I'm excited this time next year and this works out too I forgot because I didn't I forgot that um, in order to apply for law school you have to take a character and fitness test and I wouldn't have passed it with that on my record so I'm glad that I'm going through with this process because a year from now I will be applying at least applying for our in law school and I needed that to be off my record so with that being said I can start working on my credit now I think I have like three or four things on my credit that I got to pay off which is between like four hundred and six hundred dollars so I'm gonna start chipping at that little by little get my credit together my, my background is gonna be good this time next year I plan on big things I plan on at least starting the process to buy a house and working somewhere where I want to work like 911 operator um, being in law school or have applied for law school waiting for an acceptance letter I don't know but by the first of the year I want to at least have everything situated and done with and then the first of next by the by the end of this year I want to have everything situated and done with so by the beginning of next year I'll just start walking that process that's what's up that's what's up Michigan is what's up so I'm excited I have so you don't understand how happy I am like at least I I did what I needed to do if if I don't get accepted then like if I don't get the job or whatever at least I tried and at least I have a clear record good night Isaac who trying to run game I'm an 84 baby yes I'm a grandma thank you Joshua yes hit the like button y'all so I'm excited. I'm happy. Think big things are happening. Things are slowly moving. I'm just so happy. I'm so excited. And you want to know who helped me? If you're listening, let me know. Put a thumbs up if it's okay for them to know who you are. If you're still listening. Another question. How many hours a truck drives out of 11 hours? A lot to drive per day. Okay, well, you you have a 14-hour clock. You're allowed to drive 11 of those hours. So, you have 11 hours on um, driving and 3 hours on duty. But you have, you're only allowed 11 hours. So, say, for example, you sh arrive at a shipper. They take 3 hours to unload you, to load you or unload you, Right? Now you're only strictly on your 11 hour clock. So that's what that's for, for loading and unloading. Your 11, when you start your clock, it starts. 
when you start your clock, your 14 hour clock starts, it does not stop. When you go off duty, <laughs> where's the like button at y'all? I don't even know. I think if you turn, rotate the phone to portrait mode, the like button is under there. Oh my goodness. Sorry for your loss, Janine. You ever remember? I remember you telling us that. And yes, R said, R said, it's just R for now. So that's the one who helped me, y'all. Give R a round of applause for holding it down because he has been holding it down. He has totally helped me. He is changing my life. I truly appreciate him. He's like my guardian angel, y'all. Like, he has really been holding it down. Like, I don't know where I would be without him. So y'all need to like thank him because he is making sure Dollface is doing what she needs to be doing. So things are going good. So thank you R so much. He's the one who helped me out. I wouldn't have been able to do it if it wasn't for him. Buy your own truck. You could still be a company driver. I don't want to buy my own truck. I'm never ever buying my own truck. I should just do a video and I should say I'm never buying my own truck ever. And leave it at that. Maybe if I live in Ar Little Rock, Arkansas, but I'm from Houston, Texas. That's what's up. The possibilities. After all this is said and done, but Uncle J Bird, I can apply for any job that I want, that I qualify for, except paralegal because I need a paralegal certificate. But I can apply for state jobs that I qualify for. Probation officer, parole officer, probation adjudicator, 911 operator, a jailer, anything in the FBI. I can apply for college or law school. Like, the, the possibilities. Just, I can't wait till this process is over with. Oh my goodness, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait teacher I don't want to be no teacher and I can't be a teacher I don't want to be a teacher though not at all don't want to do that nope and nope and nope what up who was that Nicholas so yeah I want to learn I want to um, find out how to start the process of buying a house I know I gotta get my credit together. Don't don't say that I'm at night refrigerated. In a few months, I'll be playing catch my own truck. That's what's up. Congrats. I just see you being a teacher for some reason. No. What up, Eric? That's what's up, Ernest. Buying a truck is worth it if you know how to do it, but I just don't want to do it because I don't want to worry about it. I don't want to worry about insurance. I don't want to. I don't want to worry about my kids are out of pocket. No discipline. Being a teacher is a nightmare. <laughs> I don't want to worry about insurance. I don't want to worry about my truck breaking down. I don't want to worry about taxes. I don't worry. I don't. I don't want. I don't. I just. I don't. No. 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 And no. No. Don't want to. I just don't, I just, no. There's too many reasons why I don't want to. And I'm not going to. And if I do end up buying a truck, it will be far, 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 far from now. Years and years and years later. After I've lived my life and done what I wanted to do. And I have no minors at home that I got to take care of. No grandchildren that I got to take care of. Everybody's stable. My life is stable. I have everything that I want for myself. And. I'm retiring in the trucking business if I decide to do that, which is a possibility. Then I might. I might. I might buy a truck. But if I buy a truck, I won't be able to haul like big loads or whatever. Because I'm on a big sleep I'm on a big old super sleeper. Because my truck is gonna be my RV. I'm gonna live in it. And I'm gonna have all the shit that I want. So I might have to do expedited or something. Then I might have to have a team member. I don't know. No, I don't know. Because I don't see myself being on the road like that. 
I want to travel the world, not the United States. I don't want to be on the road all the time. I want to go places and do things and have a partner to do it with. And driving is not what I want to do. Small companies pay the most for company drivers. That's true. I heard that's true. I kind of work for a small company. I got checked for five bills on my way to Texas to clear it up. Whoa. Most drivers I know while his truck failed. Mm. I know a lot of drivers. My, my, my brother has a whole entire logistics company. So it could work. It's just not for me. But anywho, I'm about to go to sleep again. And until next time, I'll talk to y'all later. All right. Oh yeah, I gotta work on my website too. How you ever thought? trading stock market I have but I don't know how to do it I don't even know if I have the capacity to learn it right now oh yeah how's your mom doing she's not doing well um last I heard she had a ruptured her and, and what is it called uh, blah, 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 blah. So, what all the words I want to use are not what it, what's happening. Basically, her intestines exploded. She had to have surgery. Then she went back because she had pus in her stomach, and it was coming out her belly button. And they took out half of her intestines. Now she's going back so she can get hip replacement and knee replacement surgery. So that's what's going on with her in Vegas with the dude that she's not supposed to fuck with. But that's her life. She does what she wants to do. Anywho, um, I was retiring from trucking, but I can't find a job, so I had to stay on the truck until I find one. Alright, 65 likes and 65 people, y'all are awesome. Thank you for tuning in. If you haven't already, subscribe, like, share, comment. I think the next video I'm going to do, I'm going to read the comments off the last one of the last videos I did which was, I see why truckers abandon their trucks. Cause I got some really strong comments on there. So we're gonna go through those since I have a tablet and all now. Um, thank you, Boss Life. Nope, she never came back for her dog. We gotta go take her dog to her. And that's a whole nother story. I'm gonna take the dog to her when I have the time to do so. I need to take a week off or something and then I can go. I gotta make sure the bills and stuff are situated before I can do that. But, um, yeah, I had some strong comments on that video, so I'm going to use my tablet to read the comments, and we're going to have a conversation about it, because it was a lot of comments, y'all. And every now and then, I'll drop a jewel and, and drop a little picture, a little eye candy for y'all, a little thirst trap. And <laughs> I'm glad y'all appreciate it. And um, I'll talk to y'all later. All right? See y'all later. Bye.